Hi guys, today we're going dog sledding and I'm like super excited about this and after you've seen this you guys can go out and try it out at home. Oh, come on Kalle, who can really do this at home? What? Ah, okay, I'll give you that. I got a little bit carried away, a little bit excited. I'm super stoked about this whole thing but you know what I really like about dog sledding is that the learning curve is like this steep and pretty much anybody can can learn it in just a few hours, you know, and come out far away in the wilderness. Yeah, that's something I also really enjoy about this. And this is actually what Fjellreven Polar is all about. So in front of us we've got all the clothing and all the gear that we would need for this uh, dog sledding adventure and from what I can see it is actually more or less uh, what I would bring on a regular winter tour skiing or trekking but can you point out some differences between this um, the gear for a dog sledding adventure compared to any other winter expedition? Yeah I mean many times it's like super cold so you need heavy insulation to protect from, from cold and you'd preferably want the equipment to be quite rugged as there is a lot of wear and tear, there is a lot of equipment to handle, there are dogs to handle and they are not always caring for your equipment so you better be using quite rugged equipment when it comes to clothing and stuff like that. Uh, and then of course you add the, the dog uh, equipment like uh, the cooker mm. for the dog food, the dog food, the steak outline, uh, blankets and stuff and everything for, for the dogs. And then your own personal equipment, the tent, the sleeping bag and uh, so on. But, but you have also quite a lot of room to pack in. So. It's a little bit up to you how you prioritize, of course, but, but there is a lot of possibility and potential to make it both uh, comfortable and a little bit uh, luxurious, I'd say. Super. So uh, let's start packing up. Let's do it. Let's start with all the items for the dogs. Uh, we've got the heater and the dog food. It's quite heavy, so let's put it in the right. back, making it easier to steer. There you go. Let me take this. Here's the put this on the side pack. and also the dog food quite heavy and the blankets we can put here in the front tent and yeah the tent not gonna need <laughs> that it's much rather heavy, hopefully so put along the way <laughs> these ones let's put so you have easy access thank you uh, during the day also also, my first aid kit goes yeah, there. Yeah, and your food, I suppose. Yeah. I think it's also good to bring uh, dry bags. Yeah. Uh, I usually bring at least one extra one, especially in winter time. Uh, you want to keep all the the clothes dry. Yeah, and it's, organized. So, good thing. And we have the stove for us. Also quite high up, so we have easy access during the day. And this you want to have close, I suppose. Yes. Got your jacket. Okay, let's go. Yeah, just one thing. I think something is missing. Dogs? Dogs. <laughs> Dogs. Hi, Sophia. So I have uh, packed everything. Oh, hello. Yeah. Uh, hello. And I think we are about to get ready to go. Uh, so you're going to help me with the dogs. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to help you with the dogs. So, but first we need to start to uh, put out the line and okay. attach the sled to the tree here. Um, All right. So the sled don't leave. <laughs> yeah, so we attach strong, the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Super, so let's start with yeah, that. Yeah, we start with the line. So now we have everything kind of around here. Super. So I'll just so, stretch yeah, it out. Yeah, you can just stretch it out. Yeah. So Anna, have you uh, put together a nice team of dogs for me today? Yeah, I think I, 
I think I gave you the best now, Sophia. Ah, super. <laughs> Are they fast? Yeah. They're quite fast. They're strong, anyway. So how many dogs uh, do you think I'll need today? You're going to get five dogs today. Five? Yeah. I think Why did a... you choose five? Well, I think uh, that's a good number <laughs> today, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so time to harness the dogs, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Yes, so we are going to start with um, the leader dogs. Yeah. So we're having this, uh, this female here, which is Bira. Yeah. Uh, so... So I can show you here how to um, harness the dog. Yeah. So what you do first... You grab her, grab her in the collar, yeah, and then we can walk uh, over here. Yeah. All right. Light pressure over the hips. Mm -hmm. Put your heels together, and then you want this black padding in in towards the body. So this goes over the head, and this goes over the head as well. Exactly. And now when you're holding her like that, you can actually let go of the other hand. So then you have both hands to work with. And here you want to make sure that the color is coming uh, above the, the harness. So mm. it can be a little bit tricky, but... There we go. And then you just follow down with their... The legs. Yeah, and then gently lift it up straight up like that. Yeah. Good. Super. Yeah. So then the green green line here in the back of the harness. Yeah. You want to attach to the tag line. That one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this piece here, this is the neckline that will go between the leader dogs in the front. Oh yes. Yes. So that one you can actually just hook off from there. It's just hanging there so it won't get lost in the snow. Mm. And then it goes here in the ring. It's going well. Now we are harnessing uh, all the dogs. Uh, I am getting <laughs> excited, but I think maybe the dogs are actually even more excited. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's incredible how much joy and happiness and energy. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. Okay. And you're going on the back. So they don't. Uh, What's the name of these two guys? That's Disney. Disney? Beautiful, like a Disney princess. Yeah. And that's Timma. Here you have Gucci. Ah, oh, this is Gucci. This is Gucci, yeah. Yeah, Disney and Timma. Are you excited, huh? Yeah, I'm excited. You're gonna run soon enough. You're gonna run soon enough. Haha, <laughs> -ha, let's go! the leader dogs in the front that you control with uh, voice commands and steer them left and uh, left and right with the command V for right and H for left and uh, to steer the sled is basically moving your weight if you move it on um, on the left hand the sled would go slightly to the left and the same on the right Well, you should never ever let go of your sled. Never. Well, if you if you lose your sled, then the dogs, of course, will will run off, and they won't stop, you know. So, and they uh, have your your sled with all your all your food and your tent and sleeping bag and everything, and so. 
we let go of the dogs. So far we've uh, had a little bit of the uphill but more downhill actually. Now we're crossing a lake. It's quite windy today. It's a little bit of headwind here but shifting. Dogs are super strong. I think I have the strongest team actually. You have to be quite active from time to time to steer the sled and to, to break, not to run across, uh, run over Sophia and her team. So I have this uh, soft break here I can break with. And then if I need to break harder, I have the hard break and I can stop the entire sled. Quite easy in this soft snow to actually break. And then off we go. Sometimes in the uphill even you need to break and that feels really bad, you know. You don't want to break them in the uphill but, but you don't want to run over the team in front of you either. So you have to be focused a little bit all the time. Then I can lift it, this one up as well. Then we're faster. Getting hungry, and I think it's soon time for lunch. So, what you're having? Uh, I'm having a pasta here. Uh, it's going to be creamy. Creamy <laughs> <Yeah>. pasta. <laughs> Do you want to know why? <laughs> <laughs> because I was thinking I'm wearing yellow. So if I if I drop any creamy pasta on me, it's not going to be that visible. Winter outdoors activities, you know, regulating your clothing is, is your primary focus, not to get wet and not to start to sweat. If it's warm, you need to take off clothes and if it's cold, you need to put on. And now it's time to take something off. It's kind of nice you can do this while still driving, you know, you don't even have to stop to take off a jacket. Or you can take a photograph. Nice view. And you, of course, you can have a drink while driving. Or you can have a snack as well. Mm, nice one. Good job! <laughs> well done! <laughs> so what now we're here. Yeah, what an yeah. incredible day, right? Fantastic! Yeah. So, coffee time or...? <laughs> I don't think it's time for coffee. It's uh, time to get to work now. Okay, so what's now? Well, the dogs have taken us all the way here, so sure. now it's, uh, it's time for us to... It's like uh, payback time. It's payback time for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got it? Yes, let's start. Good runner today, man. So strong.
So uh, sun is setting quickly here. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, getting a little bit colder pretty quick. Uh, we have started to prepare for uh, for the night for the dogs. Yeah, giving them some straw and uh, some jackets, just like <laughs> for us. Exactly. I mean to insulate from the cold underneath and uh, retain the heat from the body. Exactly. And now it's time for some food. Yeah. But they're hungry. They yeah. should be. Yeah, they should be. <laughs> so, Anna, this is exciting. Uh, yeah. What do we have for dinner tonight? Well, so now we have uh, meat, a little bit uh, mixed beef and chicken and so on. And then we have dry food kibbles, and everything is mixed with the water. So, really high energy portion. Smells fantastic. Are you hungry? I am super hungry, but I think the dogs are even more hungry. Yeah, so let's, let's start. go for the dogs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's start there. Yeah. So just hand it out. Uh, start in one end and put it so they can reach it. Oh, it looks like uh, the dog Gucci is very excited for some dinner. Hey guys, looking for some food. Bon appetit! They don't really wait to start to eat until you say bon appetit, but uh, I guess we have a little bit of uh, educational thing to do to get them into the fine dining saloons. Mm. And here you are. Oh. Great! They were hungry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm also quite hungry. Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah. Long day. Long a lot day. of work. A lot of work. Yeah. So now let's prepare our camp, uh, the food, and uh, then some rest and, uh, before uh, sleep. Yeah. And tomorrow we are back on the tracks again. Yeah. Yes. You bet. Yeah. Good job today. You too. That was a great night out. Uh, we spent it under the open sky. We had some northern lights and the stars were shining. Uh, and now we are about to pack up everything, get ready to uh, spend another day out on the trail. Yeah, I mean, it's just the last course to, to uh, get ready with the dogs and uh, they are resting now, but they will be excited soon, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's a fantastic uh, way of getting into nature with the, with the dogs like this, you know, and uh, mm. uh, you get so close to, to the dogs, you know, they are dependent on you to get the protection, shelter and food, and you are dependent on them to get to the destination or where you want to go. So you're, you're like a strong unit together. I really like that. Yeah, and it's amazing how quickly that comes. Yeah. I think uh, when you have done a whole cycle of one day, then you really get the point of what you say, the dependency. Yeah. Uh, because first they do the work and then we get to the camp and we have to do yeah, the work. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so now one circle <laughs> has come to an yeah. end and it's actually getting time for us to uh, get moving again. It is. So let's, uh, let's go. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha
Okay, time to go. If you like this film, a little bit exotic, uh, click like and subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you guys out on the trail pretty soon. Thank you.